Hi guys, so today we are going to the apple orchard and pumpkin patch. It's going to be a really cute sister boyfriend day because the sisters are going with their boyfriends and it should be nice. We're going apple picking and I've never actually been apple picking. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I think it's pretty cute and pretty fall like and of course I'll show you what my sisters are wearing too. We are always so extra lately because I feel like since we don't go out much we kind of have been making up for lost time and just dressing up really cute when we know we're going to be having a nice day and taking pictures. So well, yeah, we're just gonna have a cute little fall day and this fall <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> Speaking of Luna, here's little Luna, my little munchkin. So yeah, so depending on how this vlog goes, this might be it, or I might turn this into a cute little fall vlog and just show you what I'm doing to get ready for Thanksgiving, which is next weekend, and of course I'll be vlogging that as well. So a few fall vlogs are coming your way, hopefully you guys don't mind it. And I know a lot of you guys want to see some more outfit videos, like clothing hauls, or just like... I guess fall style looks and I'm going to be having clothing haul really soon just waiting for a couple more things to get delivered and I should be doing a nice big fall haul for you guys so yeah let's go to the pumpkin patch sorry for talking so much and I didn't mention but last week well actually this Monday it's Saturday right now me and Nikita had our one year anniversary and these flowers are still going from our anniversary they are seriously such beautiful roses and he got me some cute little gifts like this which is super romantic this is the day our stars align so when we had our first date he documented that i think that is so cute and romantic he got me macaroons which is the la dure boxes still here i actually save all of my la dure boxes because they're works of art so it's really cute and he got me these earrings that i'm going to be wearing today as well he did a really great job for our anniversary this is the little ootd of what i'm wearing to the apple orchard i think it's really cute it's casual but also dressy i'll show you what it looks like with my boots on and with my cute jacket so this is the final ootd got my booties on and this nice jacket i'll show you this like this it's this houndstooth material and I'm so into houndstooth right now. I think it's such a pretty pattern for the fall. My gosh! I literally think Jen's calling me right now. Red lips for apple she picking! Does. Red lips! We are way overdressed. I know. Did I change? No! Ready for apples! Ready, ready for, for apples! apples. I always make you guys say weird things. You always make us say weird ready things. For, <laughs> ready for apples. Ready for apples. You think I? You're, yes, try. Taste it. No, I'm not doing it this time. <laughs> My favorite. Is it, Is it good? My favorite. Okay. <laughs> that one's smaller. What about you? Babe, but look, there's like high ones in the high tree, see? Mm. Hey. Black paper though. Mm -hmm. Caramel apple? Mm. I just have a little sweater dress on. Cute, with booties, see? Very fall. I said in my vlog that my sisters are gonna dress extra too because I felt like I was, so. Obviously. So here's how the apple picking works. When you come in, there was a little bit of a line actually because it's the weekend, it's Saturday, so there was a bit of a lineup. You wear your masks in the line because you know you can be close to people and then you can choose between two bags i think one is twenty dollars but it didn't seem sturdy enough and this bag is 35 dollars but you can basically pick as many apples as you want and obviously that's kind of like the entrance fee as well so it's really fun and i highly recommend it very cute right i think this will be a new yearly tradition what do you think sounds like a plan cute eh yep there's a little um stepping stool so that you can reach and pick a cute apple I think we can take a cute picture with this. I want to try. Okay, so we took all of our pictures and now hopefully we can just have a good time, right? <laughs> How do you eat, like apple picking? Eat all the apples now. Is it surprisingly fun? Yeah. I, I like it. I already had three apples. <laughs> Nikita's like, at first he's like, can I, I eat them? I'm like, eat them. You can eat them. There's so many people who just throw them on the floor, which is so sad. So it's better to honestly eat them. Then at least you can see what brand you like better. Right? Yeah. What's your favorite? The sour ones? The green ones, yeah. <laughs> and just so you guys know, we're in Downey's farm. There is a pumpkin patch on one side and an apple orchard on the other side, so it's really cute. Ooh, this is actually a really pretty one. Lush. 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 <laughs> Motsu Crispin, that's what we got. So pretty, look how lovely and scenic. Yeah. 
Look how beautiful this tree is. We took such pretty pictures underneath, it's so lovely. Oh my goodness! Very beautiful. Leave it to Attic to find a weird corn somewhere. Where in an apple orchard would you? Ew, guys! That's a handsome corn. <laughs> Look at all of our apples, guys. I'm gonna be eating them for the next month and a half. First. Um, but no, it's green. Yeah, it's too green. This one is good, probably. That one looks good. Mm. Look at this honey crisp. Let's put it in. Into our bag we go. This is fun. What did you get? We almost filled our whole basket. I know, even us. We're gonna go on the other side though because there's more things. Oh, those look nice and red. Yeah, right? Yeah. This is so much fun. I love fall. I love fall. I love fall. How cute is it? See, because I did this last year and Jen and Lee weren't with me, so. Jen kept saying, why am I apple picking? I know, it's actually so fun. And I said, guys, you're gonna have so much fun. I know, it is really nice. Like, I actually, this is the first thing I've picked all year. I'm glad we're getting to do this with sisters. I love my sisters. And I'm glad we're, all together right now. Yes, yes we are doing so happy. fall things that we love doing most. It makes things feel normal. It's yeah. fall, y'all. It's fall, y'all. Happy Ooh, fall. Happy, happy fall. fall. <laughs> all these apples. I really hope that maybe the farmers come and pick them up and maybe make a jam with them or something, because they're still really good. Gosh, if I were a squirrel, I would just be living in this field, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's so cute. And there's my babe. He's so handsome. Aww. Love you, babe. Love you too. <laughs> mm. Stunning. Picking apples. Dan's tip for picking apples. What is it? Pull them. Yeah? Eye to the sky. Eye to the sky. So you don't pull them off the branch. That's a good tip. This is Russet, and, and the other one was what? Empire. Empire. See, I'm eating an Empire one. It's actually pretty good. Pumpkin patch. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so guys, we were going home. We didn't really end up seeing Downies because the lines were crazy. And then there was like such a long line to get into the store and everyone was just bunched up. And I mean, everyone's wearing masks, which is nice, but we're still so close. So we just said, forget it. Yeah, it was too much. It was too much. So me and Kita took a couple selfies, <laughs> a little selfie behind the fence and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so. behind the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, but I don't feel like I'm missing out because we had a lovely time at the apple orchard and I think we'll hopefully try to come to either Danny's or another pumpkin patch one time this fall, right? Good morning! So with all of those apples, I made a beautiful apple cake. It's essentially like an apple bread because I use my banana bread recipe and I replace the bananas with equal measures of apples. So my recipe calls for two to three bananas. I use two to three apples. And then Jules made an apple crumble. This is what's left of it. There's not much left. I'm just a huge fan of cakes. I'm way more a cake person than a pie person. So yeah, this is gonna be my breakfast today. Let's cut into this and have a nice cappuccino. And this is my breakfast, apple cake and a cappuccino with a little side of butter because I'll probably be putting some butter on this cake. It looks actually really good and very soft, so I'm very excited to dig in. I highly recommend turning your banana bread into an apple cake for the season. It's so good and we really use our apples for good use as you can see. So I'll probably be experimenting with a few more apple recipes because I have a ton of apples, but this is definitely a winner. Who is more cozy than you? Nobody's more cozy than you. You're my little pumpkin spice latte. You're so beautiful. There was a little knock on the door and Nikita had a Starbucks delivery. He got Jules and I pumpkin spice lattes and he got himself a cold brew. Oh my gosh. Luna's now getting into the habit of barking whenever I talk on the phone when a delivery comes. What is your problem? Wasn't that so sweet? That was a very cute little surprise. A surprise Starbucks coffee. After I just called Luna my pumpkin spice latte. You see? Look at this delicious Thai-inspired soup Jules made with these lovely rice noodles. They're very thin, like vermicelli. I guess you wouldn't say vermicelli in such an Italian way for a Thai dish. Vermicelli, but they look really 
delicious in this lovely flavorful soup with it's like a coconut broth would you say yeah coconut spicy red thai curry spicy coconut broth looks so good red thai chili. how fall inspired is this soup guys i just love soup during this time of year what about you and with all of those apples, I also made some gluten-free muffins for Nikita because he feels like he has to be gluten-free as it makes his stomach feel better and he's able to digest better. So I've been making quite a few gluten-free things lately and these muffins are so delicious. They're full of apples. I thought I added too many apples, but actually they are amazing. I gave it a bite just to see how it was and it was so good I ended up eating the whole thing. <laughs> and Nikita already ate two. So these used to be 12 muffins and now there are only nine, but they're so good. So I'm still working on my gluten-free recipes, but when I have a good one for you guys Let me know if you're curious to see some gluten-free recipes This honestly tastes just as good as a regular muffin. What are you guys doing in here? Luna's hey. being... Oh, she's kissing her dad <laughs> So cute, Luni. Oh, you guys look so cute <laughs> Are you excited for Thanksgiving? Yeah What are you excited for the most? Um Turkey. Not spending time with me? No. Just kidding. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for turkey too. No, I'm excited for two days of doing whatever we want. By the water. Mm. I know, I'm very excited for that too. Okay, mm. Luna, are you okay? She's obsessed with and, you. And I'm also happy that this little potato is coming with us. I know, it's gonna be her first trip. I was just I saying love that. Potatoes. So also Jules and my mom, we went to the store today and we decided to go to Home Depot because we wanted to pick out some plants. I got these two little plants, this one and this one. They were only $3 each and I thought they were really cute. They're hopefully gonna grow and be nice and strong. So I'm gonna actually plant this guy in here because this is a bit smaller and then this guy is going in here and this guy's going in there, if that makes sense. Look how gorgeous this plant is. This guy I've had for a year now. I got him last year at the CNE. This year, unfortunately, we couldn't go to the CNE because of COVID, but this guy's gorgeous. He's the only one that I've kept alive. Oh, you have for a year? Yeah, for a year. Oh. I've kept him alive for so long. Isn't he pretty? Mm -hmm. I just love him. So I'm gonna replant these and put them back in my room because I love plants right now. Holy moly, is it ever sunny. So yeah, I love these kind of house plants and I'm really excited to hopefully keep these little guys alive for a long time as well. That guy for a year is my little baby. So I really like to have things alive in my room it just makes my room feel that much better so having little plants everywhere in each little corner of my room has made me feel so good even in this house we have plants everywhere but for my own personal bedroom it's really nice so I just bought these treats for Luna I already have the sweet potato ones <laughs> and I have the carrot ones these are pumpkin slices they look so cute you know it's for you I just got back from home since so I'm gonna give her one she loves these and they're really good because they have fiber too give me paw give me paw Okay, <laughs> she's so excited. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> now she runs and hides, runs and hides. Luna likes the sweet potatoes. She likes it. Don't mind my messy couch, guys. I just got home. <laughs> she loves it. She's so happy. Angel, look how happy she is with her little pumpkin. That's her little pumpkin, so festive. Even Luna's in the mood for fall, right? You're my angel. I love you. How beautiful is she? She's so cute. Okay, enjoy, sweetie. Enjoy. Enjoy, sweetie. Oh my gosh, I just love her. We had a lot of fun at the apple orchard and me and my sister were talking about things that are like Huga inspired because we read this really cute book on Huga. It's like the Danish art of living well. It's so cute and cozy. I'll try to link it in the description bar down below. It's such a good book. And they were saying how traditions are a part of Huga and we were basically thinking that every year we should go to the apple orchard, maybe every weekend before Thanksgiving because our Canadian Thanksgiving is like, the f I would say the second week of October usually so I think the weekend before it's a really nice thing to go to an apple orchard I had never been apple picking before and neither had my boyfriend it was our first time and we had so much fun so I do think that we want to go every year just to sort of create a tradition it's kind of like it's almost cozy in and of itself to create traditions because then when the fall comes you get all cozy thinking about it 
like me and Jules, our Christmas tradition is that every year we put up our Christmas tree on November 1st. I know it seems crazy, but for us Canadians with Thanksgiving gone and the day that Halloween is over, we are ready for Christmas and it's something that we always do now. It's so cozy and cute, so hopefully I'll be showing you guys what that looks like and I'll also be doing Vlogmas this year if you guys want me to let me know. I love vlogging, so I'm happy to bring you guys along with me. It's such a cute way of taking you on adventures or even just showing you my everyday home life. I think it's how we can get to know each other better and I really look forward to your comments. I have some regulars commenting and I just love you guys so much. You guys are honestly the cutest. I really, I love this little YouTube family. I find that YouTubers are just so sweet. So thank you guys for always commenting, liking, and hopefully subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. And as well, you should definitely subscribe to my sister as well. I'm even having her vlog this Thanksgiving as well because I will be vlogging Thanksgiving. She's banging away. Because I will be vlogging Thanksgiving and I told her that she should probably start to vlog as well too. Because when I do vlogs, it's maybe more vlogs with myself and my boyfriend. And of course I vlog my sisters too, but it's just not the same thing. And I said, maybe your audience would like to see your perspective on a vlog. So I think she's gonna vlog for Thanksgiving, which should actually be really cute. So I'll leave the link to her channel in the description bar down below so you guys can subscribe to her. She is mainly a makeup YouTube page and she's so good at makeup, guys. It's incredible. If you need help with your makeup, she is like the greatest. She does amazing makeup, so yeah. 